What's up, everybody? Buddha back here again, and it is that time of month again. It is loot crate time, and we have a pretty big box this time. Um, I don't know. It's probably eight inches across. I can hold it up. Uh, at least six or seven inches here, eight inches across, and five inches deep. That's a big box. I have to admit. Um, I know this theme was Heroes 2, the second time they've done Heroes. Uh, I don't remember what was in the last Heroes pack. Of course, I didn't get it because I only had it for... Well, I just signed up for a third three-month subscription, so this will be Box 7. This is Box 7. Um, but I wasn't part of the Heroes the first time. But let's get into it and see what we got this month. My trusty handy dandy zombie killer. And let's see what we have. Ooh. Mm, ooh, big item I'm going to slide across over this way. So, uh, first thing we see here is um, put that down. we have a Star Trek Spock Hand Air Freshener. Uh, I don't think I did anything with the last air freshener. Did, didn't we have an air freshener? I think we had an air freshener. I didn't do anything with the last... If we had an air freshener, I didn't do anything with it. Uh, I can't smell it. But it says it's vanilla flavored. And I can't really smell vanilla as it is. Anyway, so we have a Spock uh, hand air freshener. Officially licensed Star Trek unique, leading edge design, long lasting fresh scent, breathes new life into the air. Eh, okay. We have. Oh, this is sick. Okay, so I have a couple of these already, and they're from uh, a couple of years ago. And then there's a new Assassin's Creed that came out, and uh, it's, a, it's a sweat wristband. Um, and this isn't Assassin's Creed, this is something a whole lot better. As I've fallen out of love with that series. Great series, but I just don't... I haven't followed it since Brotherhood. Because of the amazingly hard trophies that it had. But still. But this is a Legend of Zelda sweat wristband. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. I wonder if it's going to fit me. It looks like it will fit me. Officially licensed Nintendo. It's kind of small. I don't know what you call it. But let's see. Let's see if we can get it around with my big fat. Oh, yeah, it came on real easy once I had stretched it a little bit. Ha-ha! I am Link. And if you don't know who that is and you know Legend of Zelda fan, fail. Fail, fail, fail. But I have the Triforce power. And that's where it's going to stay. Uh, let's see here. Oh! Huh! That's kind of cool. Okay, so we got a keychain, and it's a kind of a hefty keychain actually, but it's a multi-tool in the shape of a batarang. And you see, it's keychain there and a bottle opener there. And actually, each tip is either a I can't read it now, but it's either a cross tip screwdriver or a flathead screwdriver. And okay, so this was the flathead screwdriver over here, and that means the cross tip is there. It's a multi-tool. Bottle opener, keychain, well, it's got multiple tools on it, but that's it. It's two screwdrivers, a bottle opener, and a keychain. This feels kind of hefty. I don't know, that's kind of cool. I don't think I was actually using it because I don't have very many keychains. I don't have any keychains. I have the thing that clips my belt and my keys, and that's it. Um, however, since it is Batman, maybe I'll throw it on there for a while, but who knows. That's really cool. Uh, okay, let's take it out. boxes. Oh. Oh. Seems to be metal of construction. Yeah, yeah, that's very metal. Uh, that's really kind of neat, but I'll leave some on the back. Paladone. Paladone.com. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm going to hold it up to the thing. That is the flathead. Uh, screwdriver, focus, and then that is the 
Phillips head. Oh, that's kind of neat. I don't really ever really use a bottle opener. And I carry uh, screwdrivers in my truck as it is. Just in, I have a multi screwdriver in my truck just in case I need it. Along with a couple other tools. Uh, but that's kind of cool. It's a little bit of weight to it. Um, I could hurt somebody with it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe like that now. No, I couldn't use it as brass nuts, but uh, I could sling it at people. Take a keychain off, sling it to people with battering. <laughs> um, okay, we seem to have we have a poster, and I can gently take it out of here. And we have a oh, okay, that's kind of cool. We have a small Wonder Woman poster, kind of like the uh, vintage, uh, you know, World War II, uh, you know, Rosie the Riveter type poster. Uh, she can do it. Maybe I'll give this to my niece. Uh, but yeah. Um, Wonder Woman, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I probably end up giving this to one of my nieces simply because I'm not, I'm not a fan of Wonder Woman. You know, female rights and all that stuff. Uh, it's what she was bred on. But I think it would go better in one of my nieces' room instead of, like, you know, my bedroom. Because, <laughs> I don't know. That sounds a little weird uh, to me. But I love Wonder Woman. That's kind of cool. Uh, we got a book this month. Well, we got a couple other things, actually. But we got a book. Uh, the League of Regrettable Superheroes, the Loot Crate Edition by John Morris. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Go ahead and zoom in on some of the art here. And it is a hardback book. And let's see what's about. Look up in the sky. It's a bee. It's a witch. It's a giant eyeball. You know about Batman, Superman, and Spider-Man, but have you ever heard of Doll Man, Doctor Hormone, or Spider Queen? In the League of Regrettable Superheroes, you'll find 50 of the strangest superheroes ever to see print, complete with backstories, vintage art, and clover. Oh, these are actual people. This is not just like a comedy book. These are actual things that were printed. That's neat. Uh... Uh, imprint to see complete backstories, vintage art, and colorful commentary. So prepare yourself for such a not ready for prime time heroes as Bee Man, Batman with bees, the Eye, a giant floating eyeball, just accept it, and many other oddballs and odysseys. Drawing on the entire history of the medium, the League of Regrettable Superheroes will appeal to diehard comics fans, casual comic readers, and anyone who enjoys peering into strange corners of pop culture. John Morris is a cartoonist and graphic designer since the late 1990s. He's operated the blog Gone and Forgotten, an irreverent, in-depth, and occasionally rude look at the most unfortunate stories and characters that comic books have, have offered. That's kind of cool. It's a, it's a small book. I'd say it's probably 50 pages or so. Uh, maybe a little more. But that's really neat. I dig that. That's kind of cool. Uh... We have some digital loot this month. Yeah, I thought this was a werewolf to begin with, but it's not. It's a guy wearing a wolf head, uh, kind of like a shaman. But it's for something called Brahalla, uh, White Fang Ganache. White Fang Ganache, legend skin, long tooth spear skin. Okay. Welcome to Brawlhalla, a free to play platform brawler where an ever expanding cast of the greatest warriors in history battle in an eternal tournament. Of champions for bragging rights, infinite need, and the pure pleasure of delivering a beatdown. Brawlhalla is available on Steam for PC and Mac and supports online, local, mixed play, one 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 on one, two on two, FFA, etc. Okay, so this is Steam Loot, and I'm not going to turn it around because I'm actually into playing that, even though I don't play fighting games on Steam. I don't play a lot on Steam, to be honest. Uh, I have a few games. Most of which are free. I have Left 4 Dead, uh, both 1 and 2. I have Portal because it was free. Portal, Portal being an awesome game that it is. Uh, I bought, I got it from on Steam because it was free. Play it every now and again. Uh, I have probably six or seven other games, but I couldn't tell you exactly what they are. I think there's an EverQuest one. Uh, like EverQuest 2 I have on there. But I don't ever play anything on Steam. I'm a console gamer. But that's kind of cool. So maybe I'll give that away to somebody I know who has Steam. But that, the artwork looks really cool. He's a really badass looking dude. Shaman with a wolf head and stuff like that. Hopefully they'll come to PlayStation at some point. 
Maybe I'll play it, maybe not. That's really cool. Um, we have this month's button, which is Loot Crate Heroes 2, and it is it's a Batman button. That's kind of cool. You can see it, Batman. Focus. Here we go. It's just a little silhouette Batman button. And then we have this month's magazine. Ah, but well, we haven't gotten to the big part yet. And the big part looks kind of cool. But we have this month's magazine, and I'll show the cover of it real quick. Batman and what was it Blink and Wonder Woman and Spock and oh Lord have mercy! All right, so let's actually go to that in a moment with the big item, which is a vinyl figure. It is a Q Pop QMX vinyl figure of Batman 66. Uh, well, it says Batman Classic Television Series. He kind of looks like the 66. I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to take it out. Um, get other great DC comics. It had, it's got Justice League the anime series, Superman, and Batman the anime series, Catwoman on the back. I can show you that real quick. The Catwoman might be cool to complement the... Well, it's not... Batman 66 is not Batman Animated Series. If Batman Animated Series, they got the Catwoman. That would be cool. Now, if I could get the Eartha... If there's an Eartha Kit Batman, or Eartha Kit Catwoman from 66, I can get with this. That would be really neat. Um, wait a minute. All right, hang on a second. There's something to this. There's something to this to the point where I need my knife again. He survived. He fell in my lap. Okay, so wait a minute. We got this. All right, this piece comes out. Sure. Fighting with all this crap. So he's got a Kapow sign here and a marker. I'm not sure what the marker's for. Hang on a second. Uh, okay. Knife again. I'm going to be careful with this. I've got it untaped, but it's it's kind of locked into place with... I may take this to work put it on my desk. That'd be cool. Okay, so we have the Kapow sign. Like the old Batman 66 stuff. And this is a really... This is a really neat sculpt. He's on a, he's on a, a, a gargoyle right there. And there is... Adam West Batman with Batarang. Kind of a, the chibi anime style type stuff, but it is obviously Adam West Batman. Um, I don't see where to... Oh, it just goes in the back here. Um, Haha! -ha. Well, let me turn around. Oh, okay. Here we go. Ah! There we go. So we have Batman 66 with a big kapow. That's really neat. I, like I said, I may take that to work and put it on my desk. The detail on this is really good. I mean, it's obviously kind of a chibi animated Batman 66, but it is really cool. Oh, man, if I could get Adam West to sign this at some point, that would be sick. Uh, but the sign keeps falling off. It's not like the sign, though. It looks like the sticker's not quite put on there. I don't know, that's, that's weird. Let me see if I can get this on. I don't know what the marker's for either at this point. Because it came with a, like... came with what looks like a dry erase marker. Because it has a, a felt uh, eraser thing. Well, we'll find out in the book. So we'll look at the book. That's really cool. Though. I like that sculpt. I kind of almost don't want to take it to work now, because in case somebody steals it off my desk. But, I mean, we're always in the office, and, you know, I, I leave at night, so I lock the door, and the other guy opens them up in the morning, so. That's really cool, though. That's kind of awesome. I really like the, the fact that he's on a, a gargoyle. Because I don't think Batman 66 ever did that in the TV show. I mean, yeah, they did the whole sideways, you know, camera up the wall type stuff, but he never, like, mounted on a a gargoyle like Batman does in the comic books and, and other things like anime series and stuff. But that's really cool. 
Yes. Okay, so let's look at our book this month. What was that? Okay, that was Mac. The button. The button was on in the box again. I didn't realize it was like that. So this month we have an article on this month's theme. We have featured loot looters. We have a brief history of Batman and Wonder Woman. I wonder if it's talking about their uh, relationship, such and such. We have a mega crate and a mini crate this month. We have a Q&A article with John Schnipp. Um, we talked to the man behind the death of Superman lives. I don't know if that's actually the death of Superman or the return after it or something like that. I don't know. That's really interesting. We have an article about Loot Crate at PAX Prime. We have a new limited edition crate article. Cracking open the vault here. And then the description of uh, the items here. So here we go again. Uh, okay, so we have, for the looters this month, we have pretty much everybody in their Power Ranger shirt that we got a couple months ago. And... A bunch of different pictures of the looters in the Power Ranger shirt. I actually sold mine online. Uh, I got 20 bucks for it um, and then shipping. Uh, I sold it on eBay. Uh, I was pretty grateful, as best as I can tell. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, this is an article about the sauciness of Batman and Wonder Woman. And uh, Batman and Wonder Woman are two of the longest running and most recognizable superheroes to ever exist. Their shared history extends all the way back to the 1940s with their Golden Age incarnations where both members were both were members of Justice League Society of America. Justice Society of America, excuse me. That's going to go, oh, and we turn the page and we see Wonder Woman stomping on Batman's head. So there we go on that. That's kind of cool. Um, let's see here. Aww. Okay, well, I'm not terribly. I accidentally turned to the Mega Crate. And I'm not terribly upset about that. That would be cool as shit. So, this one's Mega Crate. They're giving us a bunch of stuff. Um, we have a whole list of stuff. Some of this stuff I can't recognize, but some of the other stuff I have. Uh, it's a new HTC phone, a Hyrulean Shield backpack. Looks like the entire collection of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. An Xbox One, and a couple other things I can't quite recognize. Um, so let's go through the list. A limited edition Rise of the Tomb Raider 500GB Xbox One console. An HTC One M9 smartphone. Legend of Zelda, Je Je oh, holy crap. Uh, Legend of Zelda Shield backpack, Triforce wallet, beanie, and scarf set. I don't see the scarf anymore, but okay. Um, we have a Star Wars R2-D2 Deluxe 6 scale figure by Shizo Collectibles. Holy shit. That thing's probably like 600 bucks. Uh, a game vice for iPad Mini. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. It's, it's, a, it's a controller extension for your iPad. Expensive one is. You know, those Bluetooth things, you can put your iPad or your phone in, and it basically makes it look like a, a, a Nintendo Wii U thing. You know, a uh, controller. We didn't know you control with a big screen in the middle. You know, tablet. Um, Scott Pilgrim full set of col full color hardcover editions and the Star Trek Captain's Chair. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, so right down there, and right there, that little thing. It's actually not to scale. It's a pool float shaped like the original series Star Trek Captain's Chair. That's kind of cool. Oh, I dig that. Um, there were 20 mini Mega Crates this month, and one of them was a Batman Bat Signal, uh, and another one was a Justice League Superman 3D puzzle. I'll zoom in on that real quick here. Let me see that. I always wanted to get one of those. I actually almost bought a Bat Signal at the comic shop for the 4th of July sale for 150 bucks. Now, don't get me wrong, it was big. And that's probably why I didn't buy it, because I didn't really have space for it. But that's, that's kind of cool. This one's a small one. That's neat. Um, the Zelda stuff is really cool. I could, if it wasn't for an iPad Mini, I could probably use the the Game Vice in my tablet. But iPad Minis are what seven inches, and my tablet's ten, so big, no big deal. I'm a Droid guy anyway. Screw you, Apple. Um, the R two D two is really cool. I'm not big. I like the movie Scott Pilgrim, but I'm not really. I never read any of it, so that might have been a good read. There. 
the Legend of Zelda backpack, something I've seen for a while, but I am around. And I thought it was really neat, but I never really got a chance. And I could really use a new phone. Not necessarily the phone I want, but I could use a new phone. Um, let's see. So, we move on to the John Schnepp Q&A. So, oh, okay, okay. So John Schnepp was the guy who wrote uh, Superman Lives, which was that Nick Cage Superman movie that never got made. That was rumored, evidently. Um, at least it's what I'm gathering. I think it was the Nick Cage. Yeah, Nicholas Cage set to star as The Man of Steel, directed by Tim Burton. Um, and actually, it's got um, what looks to be a would-be movie poster that has Kevin Smith in it. Let's check that out. So we have the Superman Lives poster there with Kevin Smith. I'd love to meet Kevin Smith. I have to go to Kevin Comic-Con in order to meet Kevin Smith, but i really like to meet Kevin Smith. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I never really knew about that until a couple of years ago. Um, it's a pretty big article. Talk about their booth for uh, Pax Prime. No, this is just an advertisement for their booth for Pax Prime. Because Pax Prime hasn't still out yet. It's at the end of August. Um, we have a... Oh. Oh, that limited edition crate that I was talking about earlier? Evidently, is going to be Fallout 4 themed. Fallout 4 limited edition crate. It doesn't really show much except for, you know, a desolate little area. There's, there's a robot. Looks like a workshop. Let me try to zoom in on that a little bit. See if you can see it. Um, you can see it. That's great. Some kind of workshop. But let's see what it says. Fallout 4 presented by Loot Crate and Bethesda. Hey, Vault Dwellers. We're so excited about Fallout 4 that we're putting together a, specially crate, a specialty crate packed with some rare exclusive Fallout wearables and collectibles. We'll be sending you out an email. More details soon. So crack open a new Coca-Cola and keep your eyes on your pit boy. I'm probably going to have to get there. From the looks of it, it's going to be extra. But as long as there's not much extra, I will probably, definitely, absolutely get that. Um, I'm actually really excited about Fallout 4. I didn't play 3 all that much, and I never played New Vegas. And honestly, I haven't touched a Fallout game in years. Probably because I, don't, I didn't play a lot of PC games. Like I said, Fallout was, if I remember correctly, Fallout was primarily a PC game um, that eventually got transferred with 3 over to Xbox and uh, PlayStation uh, at some point. And my my buddy played a lot of Fallout 3. He loved that game. I played a little bit with him. Um, the VAT system was really neat. It almost reminded me of uh, Red Dead Red uh, Redemption and Revolver, those kind of games. But it was, you know, sci-fi and post apocalypse and stuff like that. But I am looking forward to Fallout 4. I haven't pre-ordered it or anything, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, okay, so now we're into the... The descriptions of the loot box that we got this month. We have the Wonder Woman poster, DC collectibles. If anyone can get the job done, it's Wonder Woman. As this World War II bomber art style. I remember they did a, a series of female covers last summer that looked like this. So that was really cool. And we have the Legend of Zelda sweatband. Uh, suited for battle with this black terry cloth. Wristband that features an embroidered Triforce emblem. That's really cool. Um, we have a description of the multi tool. We have a description of the book. Um, those are pretty basic. We've never figured those out from the what you call it. Um, let's see. Uh, gotta hurry up. Uh, okay, we have the exclusive TV series Batman Q Pop Quantum Matrix. Uh, perched atop a skyscraper gurgle, our throwback cape crusader, inspired by the 60s, is poised for crime fighting. I guess that sticker comes off, because in the picture it shows, let me go back, in the picture it shows loot crate written on there, and maybe that sticker comes off and is, uh, like a dry erase board. And then we have the Brawlhalla thing, and the, uh, hero button, and the... 
uh, dab, 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 uh, air freshener. Uh, and that's it. That's all this month. And, oh, wait, we have the box, the box on the inside. Um, I don't know. The box looks like a building. All there really is to it. And it's got some. Well, let's see if we can get this spun around real quick. Let's get this spun around real quick. Finish the video. We're already at 25 minutes, 26 minutes, and I don't know. If, I don't want to keep you guys around too long because, uh, well, videos that really run long on YouTube don't get a lot of views. <laughs> like I said, not that I'm really doing it. Um, flip this crate inside out. Hashtag blue crate. There's nothing in here. Oh, get in the dang gum. Slot, slot A and the slot B and tab A and the tab C and such as such. Okay, so we have a box. It kind of looks like an old style apartment building. Uh, the address is 1337. You can see that there. So let's start the front door. We have a chick watching TV on the bottom floor. We have a guy and a kid looking up at the sky. Okay, so there's the chick on the top. And look at the sky like they're seeing superheroes. On this side we have another guy looking up and we have penguins and we have a little joker uh, graffiti. Ha 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 ha. Kind of looks like that. And we have the back of the building. There's cats. There's a guy watching TV and an air conditioner. More Joker graffiti. Batman. Ooh, that's an anarchy symbol for anarchy from Batman. Uh, and then we have another air conditioner and more Joker. Joker loves Harley stuff. And go Batman. Okay, so. Is it oh, wait. I get it. I totally get it. So we have the building. And we have the figure on top. Like we do. Son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> like we had the Terminator skull, the la I think last month, on top of the box. I may have to glue that in there. But we have Batman on top of the building. About to fight Joker. And that's it on Loot Crate this month uh, for this 28 minute video. Um, I really need to figure out video editing so I can record all this and cut it together a little shorter. <laughs> um, but that being said, that's all we got. I'm going to sit here with my Batman and I'm going to stroke him and love him and name him George. I mean Batman. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time and have a good day.